Welcome back to another episode of the Worthy Bitch Podcast. So, I recently had a thought about the expectations that we place on ourselves and our lives. Quick question before we get started. Have you ever told yourself, if it is meant to be, then it will be, and if it's not, then it won't? Okay, good. Now, have you ever actually believed that the things that are meant to happen in life will just happen naturally if and only if it is meant to be? Mm Mm-hmm. Let's be honest here. Last one. Have you ever just sat back waiting for that so-called meant to be while being left stuck in the same place that feels so not meant to be? Yes. Okay, I lied. This is the last one. Have you ever told yourself that if something takes a little effort or gets a little uncomfortable, then it just must not be meant to be? Mm -hmm. Maybe you didn't consciously tell yourself that last one, but I would bet money that you have felt that way in several areas of your life. If you haven't, then you just might not be human. (laughs) I'm just kidding. But for real, we have all told ourselves these things. And not only that, we have all actually believed these things to be truth on this planet. I know for myself personally, I am guilty of this in so many areas of my life. Constantly finding myself back at square one because things got tough. And as I've mentioned in previous episodes, my go-to response was actually... Not to respond, but to react by running away. Now I want to go ahead and make one thing very clear. Yes, there are definitely things that are meant to be for you and definitely are not meant to be for you. And I don't mean meant to be in the ethereal, meant to be. I mean like certain things that you're just not meant to be for you and your life or for humans in general, right? But this is, that's an obvious thing and, or at least it should be, but that is not the nature of this episode. This episode is about not making excuses in life when things get a little bit tough. And I'm not talking dangerously tough, but just normal levels of tough. And not telling ourselves that since today got kind of heavy, then that means it's time for us to pick up our entire life and give up on everything. Okay, I got another question for you. Have you ever told yourself that if it's worth it, it won't be easy? And if it's easy, then it won't be worth it? I know everybody's heard that one. I think Bob Marley used to say that about women. Uh, But now you see where I'm going with this, right? And please do not take me out of context here because I know how easy it is, how easy it can be to twist my words around and turn this into an excuse to stay in between a rock and a hard place, right? And bitch, you better not, okay? That's not what we're doing here. What I want to talk about is not giving up just because something isn't going slightly our way and we want to go throw a temper tantrum and tell all of our friends how stupid and hard life is all the time and why do we even bother trying? We might as well just do the bare minimum to get by instead of shooting for the stars and doing what? Living life on purpose. Now don't lie, we have all been here at some point, some point in our lives and I am definitely not exempt I still have my days and moments where I just want to say F this and throw everything in the trash and give up on life, but we know that is never the answer. We can absolutely, we can do this with absolutely any aspects of our life, can't we? Let's take relationship for example. One day everything is perfect and then the next day he comes home grumpy from work and then you start questioning everything. Oh my god, why is he so angry? You didn't even do anything wrong. Is he mad at me? This is just too much. I cannot handle the uncertainty. If he really loved me, then he would not act this way. If he really loved me, then there would never be any uncertainty of any kind because I would just know he loves me and he would always be making me happy because that is what people who love each other do. They live happily ever after. And this is definitely not supposed to be happening. This must not be meant to be after all. Maybe I should just be single for a while, etc., etc., etc. Um, let's take career for example again one day everything is just flying by pretty smoothly and then you wake up on your period or something and bam 
what is up with this day? I feel awful today. I don't even want to do this work. Ugh, why do I have to do this? This must be why I feel this way. It's this godforsaken job. Ugh, I can't even believe I agreed to do this in the first place. I wish I would have never even done this to begin with. This is sucking the life out of me. I absolutely just have to quit. There is no other explanation. This just must not be meant to be or I wouldn't feel this way. How about your living situation? You probably never really mind the place where you live and you actually probably kind of like it. You have your home and your friends and your family, etc. hopefully, but one day somebody was in a hurry and cut you off in rush hour traffic and then all of a sudden, oh my god, this fucking idiot just cut me off and made me fear for my life. How can they be so stupid? I know they saw me here and they just cut me off just to be first. This whole city is full of stupid fucking idiots and they're trying to kill me. I cannot believe I, I live in a place like this. I have got to move. I have just got to move. There's no other way around it. I'm definitely not meant to be here. I hate it here. I hate the people. I hate the place. I hate the job. I hate my part. I hate my life. Ugh. See how easy that was? To throw your entire life out the window just like that? I know I can't be the only one who caught myself falling into these spirals out of control that were actually in control of my entire life. What I came to realize after years of tearing down all the things I had built before they even had a chance to learn how to exist is that some things are meant to be only if we will it to be. I mean, we wouldn't have a baby and then notice once we finally got to hold that baby that it can't do anything for itself and it has no clue about life at all and is going to, become, it's going to completely consume every moment of our time and then what are we going to do, decide to give it back? No. So why are we so quick to give up on other things in our lives when they are still a baby? Let's look at these examples from the lens of willed to be instead of meant to be. Okay, relationship. One day everything is perfect and the next day he comes home grumpy from work and you just start questioning everything. Aw, poor guy had a bad day at work today. I hate that for him. I wonder what I can do to help him feel better more quickly so we can get back to enjoying life together. I know he doesn't want to be grumpy just as much as I don't want him to be grumpy, so I will make sure that I keep things light for him right now while he cools off from work. Maybe he can go shower and I'll make him a drink or something and let him vent to me about his day. Yeah, yeah, he usually feels better after that, so we can try that first and then move on to plan B if he's still feeling upset. Career. Again, one day, everything is flying by pretty smoothly, and then you wake up on your period and some or something, and bam! Sucks that I woke up on my period today. But at least I know that I am going to be a little bit more emotional than usual, so I can plan accordingly. Work might feel a little heavy for me today because I already feel heavy in general, so I will give myself grace when I get frustrated. I am grateful for the ability to still earn my paycheck even when I don't feel my best. See where I'm going with this? Living situation. You probably never really mind the place where you live. You actually probably kind of like it. You have your home and your family and your friends, etc. But one day someone is in a hurry and cut you off in traffic during rush hour. And then all of a sudden, wow, that person just cut me off. And I was literally afraid for my life in that moment. Thank God I am okay. I hope everything is okay with them too. Something must be really going uneasy with them since they're driving so recklessly. I hope they're okay and they don't bring any harm to anyone else while they're working through their issues. I know how hard it is to be stuck in rush hour when you're dealing with unpleasant things in life. And I'm so grateful to not be going through something like that right now. I wish them the best. See how easy that was? To put your entire life into perspective just like that instead of throwing it out the window. And not only your own life, but the lives of others as well. You see, when you give yourself the permission to have grace with yourself, then you automatically give yourself the permission to have grace with others. We could all use a little bit more grace in our lives. Take a minute to think about how you respond in these moments and where you can bring a little bit more grace to ease the tension in your own life.
Got it? That's your homework for this week. Finding new ways to give grace in all areas that present to you. So let's move on to the willing it to be part. When someone asks you to do them a favor that you are going to do, what is your response? I will. Right? Have you ever thought about where that response actually came from? What does that mean exactly? I will. You will what? What are you willing to be or to happen? Well, in that example, you are willing that person's favor be done for them. We don't respond to someone's request with, if it's meant to be, then it will be. And if you do, then you need to cut that shit out right now because that is how you turn people into haters real quick. Directing all that hate to you and nobody wants that bad juju in their lives. No, you say, I will because you are willing it to be done and then it gets done. You may say that, yes, but if I will it to be done and then it is done, then doesn't that mean that it is meant to be? Precisely, young grasshopper, you are catching on now. That is how meant to be actually works. It only works if you will it to be. By using your will to manifest it to be. Literally willing your desired result into reality. So if we take a look back at the examples I gave with the relationship and career and living situation, we can see clearly now how the will is actually in control in both situations and in both outcomes. In the first example, we are saying, I will react and be mad about this situation because it is what? Not meant to be. Mm -hmm. You see my point. And in the second result, we see that we consciously willed the result we wanted into fruition and made it to be. So we could even say for the sake of this episode, and that exempts that we are, oh, and those examples that we are using here, that it is the will that actually dictates what is and is not meant to be. Those, you have way more power over every situation and the outcome of those situations than you have led yourself to believe. Next time you find yourself in a pickle, where you would usually start right up with your, it's not meant to be pity party, I invite you to take a moment to ask yourself, is it really not meant to be or am I willing it not to be? because of my ego, because my feelings are hurt. And then adjust your response accordingly. That is what we are doing here. We are training ourselves to stop reacting and start responding in our lives. This is going to enable us to take back our power. This is going to enable us to become active creatrixes of our lives. This is going to enable us to start living life on purpose and begin willing into existence what is meant to be for us. So do not be confused by the meant to be's in your life any longer. Ask yourself, what do you will to be? What will you be? What will you do? What are you willing in your life? And let yourself dream big. We don't want to hold ourselves back and play small because we're too busy waiting on the men to bees that we don't even focus on what will what we will to be at all. And doesn't that just sound better all the way around? That just means that you get to start dreaming bigger and better things to will into your life. We are not limited by what we tell ourselves is meant to be for me. Unless you think 
meant to be is fucking awesome. Like, we're not going to limit ourselves by saying, oh, this is meant to be and that's not meant to be for us. Unless you think that what you see is meant to be for you is awesome and then you can get to willing that awesomeness into reality. But if you see something that you think is meant to be in your life and it's not good and it doesn't make you happy, then you do not have to will that into existence. And that's not really meant to be for you. That's a lie you're telling yourself. For example, in my own life, I literally told myself that I would never have an awesome life, that I would always struggle and I would always be broke and poor and have a hard time. And I actually believed that. And for so many years, that is what my life consisted of. Until one day I realized what I had done to myself. I cursed myself by believing, telling myself that, one, and then two, believing it. And then I created that in my life. I made that, I willed that to be what my life, I willed that to be my life. Unconsciously. And we don't want to unconsciously create our life. It wasn't until I told myself that that was a lie and rewrote my narrative that I started seeing changes in my life for the better. But do not sit back idle and wait to one day wake up and be with the man of your dreams as the CEO of an incredible business that you built from the ground up and living in paradise. Because honey, that is not the way this world works. And just a little word of warning to you. If someone waltzes in holding that package in their hands and claiming that you two are meant to be, I would definitely be skeptical of that person. And that's just my nice way of telling you to run away. Run away as fast as you can and never look back. I am talking from experience here of being handed that package wrapped up so beautifully beautifully, until I started to open it and found nothing but a turd dipped in glitter on the inside. Okay, I don't want that to happen to you. And if it has, girlfriend, I feel you. It's shitty. Talk about a shitty feeling, <laughs> really. <laughs> That's funny. I am also talking from experience with the flip side of that coin, willing your life is the only way to live. I'll say that again. Willing your life is the only way to live. I have noticed myself flipping the switch from meant to be to willed to be in my own life as it can sometimes take a while to convert completely. So I do have grace with myself when I find these moments of the times where I'm getting stuck back in the meant to be's and then I have to switch over to my telling myself that I am the creator of my life, right? For example, I was recently involved in an unpleasant conversation with a loved one that was resulting in me going back to my old internal dialogue of, this feels terrible. I didn't know that I would feel this way with this person. I thought this was meant to be, but maybe I was wrong. Maybe I am just meant to be alone forever, and maybe I'm just not meant to be with this person. After all, if it was meant to be, then I would not feel this way etc, etc, etc. I realized in this moment and I caught that internal dialogue by the tail and turned that meant to be into willed to be and then adjusted the words accordingly. I did not want the same results I had always gotten by allowing that meant to be nonsense to take over my life. I willed a different reality to be. I used meant to be as a tool instead of letting it use me. I'll repeat that for you, you girls in the back. I used meant to be as a tool instead of letting it use me. Mm -hmm. Just think about that. I told myself that things are not meant to be, ha ha ha, sunshine and rainbows all the time. That sometimes people get upset or irritated and that is totally normal. I myself get upset all the time without any rhyme or reason behind it and I don't expect the whole world to fall apart around me just because of that. So why do I fall apart? Because of someone else's emotions. Nope. I will not be that way anymore. I will be happy and have grace with myself and my loved one in this moment. I am willing to be better and have better for myself and those around me. I am choosing to be willing. 
I am choosing to will what I want to be for me. And I invite you to do the same. Choose to live your life consciously. To be actively creating every moment the way you want it to show up in your life. And to choose to respond to your life in the way you want to see it. That means taking ownership and responsibility for your own thoughts and actions. That means getting really real with yourself on not only who you are and how you play a role in shaping your own life, but also the necessary adjustments that you can make to be who you want to be and how you want to shape your life. If you don't like what you see, then change it. That means living your life on purpose. And you will not be sorry you did. Does that mean it's always going to be easy and fun and sunshine and rainbows all the time? Nope. It's not meant to be. Okay? That's the way that you can use those words meant to be if you just have to have them in your vocabulary. Meant to be is not meant to be. Mm -hmm. So you're going to will it to be. What do you will to be? What will you do? What will you be? I cannot wait for you to implement these practices into your own life and watch the transformations take place. You know, when we actually boil it down, self-transformation takes place through self-awareness and self-awareness only. We cannot and will not transform for the better if we are not first aware of ourselves. So get self-aware and then tell me all about how you created a magical life beyond your wildest dreams. I'll be waiting to hear about your spectacular greatness. That's all for today, loveys. Until next we meet, namaste.